Alright, now we all know that Samsung Galaxy phones offer a very powerful feature called Call Assist. Samsung uses artificial intelligence to make the phone calls much, much easier. Now with this all new One UI 6.1 upgrade we got uh, for the, some of the latest Samsung Galaxy phones, Samsung has enhanced this Call Assistant feature and added support for the third party applications as well. In this video, let's take a look at what has changed and I'll also tell you whether this feature is useful, whether you can make use of this feature in any situations, is it practical, is it working fine? Let me share my thoughts about it. Now you can just go to the settings and uh, tap on Galaxy AI tab here. This is where you will see call assist. Let me tap on this. As you can see here, it says get real time translation during calls. Tap the call assist button, then select live translate on the in call screen anytime to start translating. All the data for this feature is processed on your phone. So it does not need the internet to work, it processes entire translation within the device. Now whenever you make a call, if you enabled call assist, you will see this call assist button here. Just tap on that. We get two different options. One is text call, the other one is live translate. If you're calling someone who speaks a different language, then call assistant can translate the conversation in real time if you tap on this live translate option. And if you select text call, you will be able to conversate with the other person through the text instead of talking. This will be useful if you're in a situation where you can't really talk using the voice call and you want to respond to the call that you're getting. It could be an important call and uh, you're not in a position to talk. You can just respond to uh, the caller by using this text call feature. The other person will get uh, the translation from text to voice and whenever they talk, that will be con converted into text and that will show up on your phone. Now let me tap on live translate. You see here it says, hello, this call is being translated and live captioned. This is what the other person is going to hear. And on the top, you can select the language Languages. You can select the other person's language whom you're talking to and you can select your language. Now this is how this feature works. Now Samsung has enhanced this feature with uh, the latest One UI 6.1 upgrade. Let me show you that. Let's go to the settings. I'll tap on Galaxy AI and tap on uh, Call Assist. Now here, let me scroll all the way down. You will see we have got live translation in other applications. So uh, we will be able to use the live translate feature on the other apps. Let me tap on this. It says get real time translation in supported voice calling applications. During a call, tap live translate in the quick panel to start translating. When your mic is muted in some applications, translation of your voice may continue, but no one else on the call can hear it. This is something you need to note. Now you can see we have got available application list here. Live translate feature is supported now on WhatsApp. Google Meet, Messenger, and Instagram. If you're making a call through any of these applications, you will be able to get real-time translation. Now let me show you how exactly this feature works. Let's make a call from this phone to the other phone on Google Meet. Uh, let's go to Google Meet application. I'll open this. Now uh, keep in mind, this doesn't work on the video calls. It is working only on the audio calls on this phone. I checked the video call as well. It is uh, the, the live translate option is not showing up on the quick panel. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a audio call here. Let me tap on this and I'll tap on call. Now let me just keep this aside. I'm getting a call here. Let me mute this. I will answer the call here. Now on the top, you can see I can just swipe down to open the quick panel and this is where you will see live translate option. Let me do that on this phone as well. Let's see if it has got, yes, of course it has to have. This is Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 with the call assist feature. So we do have live translate option on this as well. Now let me just tap on this live translate option. As you can see, we have got the other person's language here and my language here. I can change this. I will change it to English India. The other person, if he speaks in Hindi, I can select that or any other language. Uh, first, you will have to make sure you have downloaded the language pack as well. Since this works within the device, the processing happens uh, within the device. It doesn't require internet. So you will have to download the language packs here and then you can select the language right here. So this works for the Google Meet and it of course works for the uh, WhatsApp and a couple of other applications only on the audio call. Now let me disconnect this. I will show you, uh, I will make a video call now and show you guys whether this is working or not. Now, if I open the quick panel, let me just mute this first. Okay, now let me open the quick panel here. You can see it just shows video call effect. There is no uh, live translate feature available for video calls. Now this feature is really powerful and we have got this on the Galaxy phones and we are quite happy about it. But is it really working well? 
Is it practical? That is something we need to know. Now, I did try uh, using this tra live translate feature. I did make a call and I was talking in English and the other person was talking in Hindi. And the real time translation which was happening was actually not that great. There were a lot of grammatical errors and it was not picking up the uh, other person's language well. And some sentences were not being translated well. I was getting wrong translation from the other person and the other person was also not able to clearly get what I was talking about. It can accurately translate somewhere around uh, 60 to 70 uh, percent of the conversation, but not 100 percent. There were a lot of times where there was miscommunication because of the translation which was wrongly happening. So I would say Samsung might have to work on this feature. They have to enhance, they have to improve the real-time translation for different languages. Of course, from English, uh, it will be able to pick up the language and translate it well on the other languages, but from the other languages, it actually doesn't translate it well. It listens to a sentence and it tries to convert that particular sentence word by word to the other language. So grammatically, there will be a lot of errors and the meaning also will change sometimes when you translate a sentence word by word to the other language. So let's hope that Samsung improves this feature in the future. Or maybe Samsung can stop spending uh, time and resource on these kind of features. Rather, they can focus more on more productive features, battery performance, and some innovative features in the coming days. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section. Have you ever used this live translate feature? Let me know in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can download them all. If you check out all my previous videos, you will find unique wallpapers in every video. And yeah, of course, you need to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. I share a lot of tips and tricks and I also keep you updated with all the brand new features and updates that you're going to receive on your Android phone. So go ahead, subscribe and uh, make sure to give this video a like. I would really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.